19th and Loomis in Chicago, Illinois. Just look at all of the excitement. Chairman, 
And we have the blue machine. He is our chairman. Oh, right there. Oh, blue yeah. machine. <laughs> and of course, all of you. The monks, our classmates, our teachers. This is Bill Smith. Our fellow ball players. Class of 78. We shared a lot of pain and agony together after all these years. And we still come together. I was telling Jim a few minutes ago on how marvelous this is with the brotherhood and the sisterhood that we have at Simeon. And people ask us, now what's going on with you guys at Simeon? We can't explain it. It is what it is. And that's all I can say. <laughs> so without any further ado, since joining ABC in 1992, Jim Rose has become a major force in Chicago sports broadcasting. He currently serves as sports anchor, reporter for the station's top-rated 4 o'clock and 6 p.m. newscasts. Rose participates as a mentor to the Chicago Public Schools and Harold Washington College, in addition to participating in the Real Men Read program. Rose continues to volunteer his time to help many charitable groups and worthy causes throughout the Chicagoland area. Rose earned a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication from Rhode Island College in 1977. He is a proud father of two, two children, Jason and Suzette. And I give you a stand to your feet for Mr. Jim Rose.
And so I am here because I want to applaud you for your effort, for your diligence, for your sense of family. Something that has been weeded out of our DNA for 350 odd years. And it's something that has come back to us many, many times. As I tell a lot of students when I go and speak before classes, you must understand one thing about us as African Americans. We have all different strains of us in this country. We are the only people who were brought across an ocean for the express purpose of free labor. And we not only survive, but we thrive. If you look at the American story, you will see that every time we put our hands on something, it gets better. I like to think of life in terms of excellence. In my line of work, in the sports field, Everywhere where we've had a chance to touch, excellence has reigned supreme. If you take a look at just baseball alone, from 1947 on, when we were allowed to finally play in the game, the game was elevated. I do not recognize any aspect of baseball from 1898 to 1946. Just not gonna do it, because it wasn't a true representation. But now it is. If you take a look at football, take a look at the National Football League. Up until 1975, most defenses in the National Football League were all white. I can name you the 10 to 12 players who start on defense for the 32 National Football League teams today. We were once told that we couldn't play quarterback. There are many of you in this room who follow football and sports, we know the name Marlon Briscoe, James Harris, people like that, men like that, who paved the way for guys like Randall Cunningham and Donovan McNair, who paved the way for guys like Cam Newton. So all along in this journey that we've had in this country, we've done nothing but stomp on all the barriers, tie them up a nice little deep ball and throw them back in the basket. Because that's what we do. And here at Simeon Career Academy, that's what you do. So thank you all so very much for your diligence, for your support of education of our children, because without that, we're not going nowhere as a society. And now I'd like to introduce our uh, soloist, Frederica Hood Williams, class of 88, for the Black National Anthem. Frederica. Could you all please rise for the Black National Anthem? Let's lift your Lift every voice and sing.
seated because we're going to have our invocation for Ronald Smith, 67, Sister Pastor of Apostolic Church.
the school's enduring presence while commemorating the ongoing collaboration between students, parents, faculty, alumni, friends, community members. I acknowledge Simeon Alumni Association for their steadfast work in keeping all alumni connected and in touch with the alma mater uh, while preserving and promoting the rich legacy of Neil F. Simeon. Sincerely signed, Brown Emanuel May. Rose's reference, uh, Project 2000, but to truly 
in this program and what we do was headed up by the Black Caucus of 134, which is the president, Mr. Joe Wells. I know he's here. Mr. Wells. Okay, uh, I am uh, humbled and uh, honored to present this. Uh, Maurice is going to be accepted on behalf of our business manager, uh, Terry Allen. Uh, let me just say that Terry uh, took a bold step. Uh, just to uh, elaborate a, a bit, we as a local union uh, came into this and we've been helping with the Simeon Electric Program for several years, since 2007. Uh, and when the program was canceled, uh, forces were joined and we came to diligently negotiate the reinstatement. The program was reinstated. Uh, the business manager of our local union step up in terms of helping to negotiate uh, part of it, but he went beyond, above and beyond, and created an unprecedented partnership uh, from any major labor union in the city of Chicago, which is to uh, award or to allow those graduates of the program to enter into the trainee program of Local Union 134. That is unprecedented for any uh, trade union in the city of Chicago. So uh, we are proud of that. And on behalf of uh, Local 134, brother is gonna, I gotta get my glasses out. So. Let me just real quick. This is a certificate of appreciation awarded to Mr. Terry P. Allen, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, uh, in your recognition of in recognition of your continued support and partnership with the Simeon Career Academy. And accepting on his behalf is Brother Maurice King. Maurice is the Vice President of our local union. We're going to get his brother a hand. He's been interested in the as well, helping to fortify the program of the Simeon Center. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, once again, on behalf of our business manager, Terry Allen, I thank the alumni and also the instructor, Ms. Kendrick, for, for leading the charge and putting this program back together. And as, as Joe mentioned, well, we've always um, we've had a steady stream of apprentices coming from Simeon, mainly since Ms. Kendrick's been involved. She's a wonderful instructor over there. But we went one step further. For the first time ever, we've committed to placing every graduate of Ms. Kindred's class into our training program. Now, for decades, we've been talking about inclusion and creating more diversity in the streets. This is the first time ever we can streamline that process into having young African-American students come into Local 134. So what I need you to do, I need you to continuously support this kindred in this program. Yeah, this thing works. We have the jobs. We just need viable candidates. We need you to make sure that the administration does the right thing and keeps this program going. Right. Once again, thank you very much. And you know, when you think of, if you ever build a house, and you think, first of all, when you build a house, 
and you think about all the people that it takes to build a house. And I remember building a house back in the Tinley Department in the early 90s. And I didn't see anybody look like me building that house, and that was extremely distressing. And I say that from the standpoint of, not to disparage anybody, but from the standpoint of, if somebody looks like me, they might, they might make sure that things that are supposed to happen right are going to happen right. When, and I do know construction because I built a house for a single mom in Riverdale uh, in 2007 and 2008. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to build a house from the ground up, sitting in the bulldozer, digging out the ground, putting the concrete forms in. If you want to build your arms up, shove the concrete down the, the trough and into the, the foundation. We learned electrical, plumbing, heating, you name it. And when I got my house after it was built and I found 30 to 40 things wrong with it, I can understand where I'm going with it. Right, we're going to continue on with the passing of the educational torch. We're going to begin with John Michael Johnson, class of 76 and Project Simeon 2000. John? <laughs> Presentations that are going to happen. This one is going to our legacy, our history, and our culture at Simeon. Back in 1989, uh, when I was running for the local school council and a group of alumnus came into Simeon, uh, where the faculty and staff were somewhat nervous about uh, all these young alumnus coming in. It was going to run for the local school council and basically take over Chicago Public Schools. Simeon was different. That night, we had over 400 people who attended the meeting in our school. 100 of them, they did the staffers. 300, like in this room, the Simeon alumnus. We tried to put their fears to rest by using a quote or a quasi quote from the Bible. But I said to them, we are the fruit of your labor. And if we're bad, this is the fruit that you create, that you harvest. If we're good, you ought to pat yourself on the back and applaud our coming in. Simeon alumnus truly respect the educators of our school. They loved us, they cared about us, they nurtured us, they listened to us, and they reprimanded us. But it all started with the educational leaders of our school. And we are known as a group of alumnus that respect that position. The passing of the torch cannot be done by city on alumnus. In respect, we're asking that Mr. Nell Ned McCray, principal, former principal of City on, come to the front. All right. Okay. <laughs> In the history of Chicago Public Schools was the inception of local school council. It was a difficult task in every school but Simeon. And the reason why it was such a smooth transition was because the player who was running the ship understood leadership, understood shared power, understood partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Welcome our beloved Patricia Brown.
First thing I would like to say is, as you may imagine, over the years I've attended a lot of seminar events. This is by far the grandest. I think this plaque says, you shall be known by the fruit of your labor. Uh, when I think about the people in this room, uh, many of them labored at Sydney and I, talking about the teachers and the administrators. They labored and they put seminar on the map. I don't think of laboring at seminar. To me, it was a labor of love. I love my job because I love working with young people. I enjoy seeing them grow and mature into decent human beings. And when I was there, I realized that I couldn't do the job alone. It takes good people working with you. I was fortunate enough to have an outstanding staff, an outstanding group of assistant principals. Okay, they made me, they made me look good. We came together as a team, the teachers, administrators, the students, and the parents, as a team, and we called ourselves lovingly the Simeon family. And over the years, working as a team, we achieved a measure of success. I would like to think that we started a snowball. Uh, another way of saying it is that, uh, you know, if you start the snowball rolling, as it goes down the hill, it can get steam, and it gets bigger and bigger. If we achieved one success, then what happened? It led to another success. And over the years, Sydney and I became known and recognized all over the city. There are very few people in this city who have not heard of Sydney and I. Okay? When I got ready to, maybe, let me back up. When I look at all of you, you make me feel proud. I know that not only you not only make me feel proud, but when I think about all of the Simeon graduates that I come into contact with all over this city, and they, when they come up to me and greet me with a smile, a hug, or a handshake, it makes me think that perhaps I give a little bit to help me grow and mature as these are human beings. That is when I got ready to retire, I was asked to recommend a successor. I didn't have to look forward or look very long. On my staff was an assistant principal who was the chairman of the counseling department. She had also passed the principal exam. And when given an assignment, she did it with diligence and with efficiency. At that time, I was happy to pass the torch to Patricia Graham, and tonight I am happy to pass the torch again to Patricia Graham.
And we often speak of school as a place where the children grow. But believe me, the adults grow as well. I grew a lot at singing. I learned a lot at singing. And I love the job, just as Ned Ray said. I love my job. And I enjoy working there. And I have fond memories, and uh, those of you who have contact with me know that I'm still involved with the Simeon Connection. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of the Simeon family. It's a wonderful family. I too, as John Michael Johnson said, who was a member of the first local school council that we had, that uh, I learned, none of us knew what a council was, and we learned together. And I, again, I had a wonderful experience, and I learned the importance of community involvement. And this is a family, which is a community. Stay involved in everything that is around you. Have a voice, and be sure to have a vote. Yes. Uh, I retired when we had an opportunity to do the five plus five. <laughs> that meant that we could buy uh, five years of age and five years of service. And this meant I was able to retire while still in my picture. And of course, at that time, our dear and beloved John Everett became the principal. And I would like to recognize that his widow is here today. <laughs> she is here sitting next to me this evening. And uh, she was so glad she had an opportunity to attend the celebration. So my responsibility is to pass the torch on to our current principal, Dr. House. Simeon Vocational High School 
you will always be remembered by the fruit of your labor. When you sign by myself 2000, the Sinai Connection, as well as the Blue Machine. Now, one thing I want to mention to you all that is through the Simeon Alumni Association that the Simeon Connection started. And that consists of former principals, teachers, staff, and even parents that formed that organization. So we're thankful for it. Give me a hand. This is the beauty of being an educator. 
When we see our students succeed in life, there is no greater joy. For in so doing, they, our students, become our legacy. I'm looking forward to the next 15 years of excellence. Well, I hope so.
This is something that the Scott has been waiting on for quite a while, and uh, we finally have it. This is a prep roll win that, we, that you wanted, you've been asking for, for all these years. And Mr. John Michael Johnson, Sr., will present you with the
but on behalf of the football team, on behalf of your adopted son, we thank you for sharing your husband with us. Yes. And every time Simeon wins, L. Scott program wins. And therefore, every piece of jewelry that we obtain, you will obtain also. So on behalf of your sons, we present you with this ring. This is something else that uh, was prepared through uh, uh, Mr. Gillis Bolden. For you all that don't know, Gillis, Gillis was on Coast Scout's first football team in 1973. He was a defensive back. And he has here a autographed football by the gentlemen, the players that played that year. Gillis Bolden, Tommy Davidson, Jeffrey Morgan, Michael Anderson, Thomas Barkley, Clifford Hill, Freddie Davis. So I'd like to present you with this football. One other thing that we have here from this guy, Simeon High School 1972 football team. Unless we forget, 40 plus years and still kicking. I'm just so happy that I'm able to celebrate with you this 
auspicious occasion. Because who would have ever thought that we would be at the threshold of celebrating the existence of Simeon High School. And I call it the high school because it's gone through many names since But Simeon High School for all of these 50 years. And to see such beautiful recipients of the Simeon legacy in front of me. I thank the committee for honoring me with this award, and I thank you for making the best years of my life. Thank you. Yeah. That was a drawback. Thank you all so much. Uh, yeah. This presentation next. I brought some money. Uh, listen, I want to thank you all for bearing with us. Yeah, a little bit too much. Now, <laughs> as the president, I try to run, uh, serve with my officers in regards to a church setting. So I say, so when you, when you deal with people, sometimes you have to deal with them like you in church. So just think of this like as a church banquet. We'll be over in a minute. Just, just give us a little time here, because we're talking about 50 years, and we're trying to get in everybody and everything, because somebody said we may not be here in 50 more years. Somebody said, I hope to be. So uh, we want to do that. You have them, William? Uh, at this time, we would like for Coach Leroy Franklin to come forward.
being family members together. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful and great celebration of Simeon High School. Thank you for 50 years of this school being a landmark in the city of Chicago. Thank you for our administrators, our teachers, parents, staff that have supported these 50 years of our education. Thank you that we can give back to this school that gave to us quality education. Father, I pray that, that you would bless their endeavor, those that taught us, gave us direction, that made us become successful as we are today. Thank you for the discipline that they gave us, that we kept our heads on straight to be the men and women that we are today. Father, I pray for those that work to pull this together. I pray for those that work behind the scene, all around the scene. And I pray that you would give back to them what they have given to us. Father, as we leave this place, we pray that you would give us traveling mercies to our destination. Cover us with your precious blood that we may reach safely home or wherever we may go. We bless your name. As we think of the present generation, God, I pray that you will instill within them the motivation to move forward and not go backwards. I pray that we as alums of this wonderful institution, that we will continue to support them, that they will one day look back and say, we are celebrating another 50 years. Be with us as we leave this place, but not your presence. Allow your choicest benediction to be ours as we leave this place. We give you praise in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen.